you should do this. Okay, why do you think that? Because the products are not the variable of success. The knowledge of understanding how to communicate this. You got your perspective. I just want to be happy. Don't you want to be happy? Somebody was crying this morning. I was on Twitter. They're like, fucking Instagram, not getting the reach anymore. Us artists are getting fucked. Can't get as many people seeing it. Now they want us to pay. Motherfucker, fuck Facebook and Instagram. I replied, I'm like, shit's free. I'm like, what do you mean they're taking away your shit? It was, it's free. They're like, oh, I didn't think about it that way. <laughs> Here's the biggest thing about that. The only people that are listening to you are other losing players. The, un- the only other people that are co-signing your excuses are other losers. I always, have, I always think about my future every day. Like I yeah. know a lot of people say, oh, don't think so far into the future, but I sure. feel like I have to because I want to see what myself is like five to 10 years from now. Like my being, being thought is, real quick, being you know, thoughtful about the future is amazing, but not letting it cripple you is the key. Yeah, because my problem would be, I would think so further in the future, I would start worrying about stuff. It's yeah. stuff that I want to accomplish before I leave this earth years from now that I want to do. Like I always It's great to have ambition. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one But if you cast thing. too much judgment on yourself on a day to day on how you're reaching that ambition, you're gonna cripple yourself. But the fact that you understand that that is your perspective means you're on the cusp of fixing it. Only thing that I've ever seen really work in this scenario where your DNA and your experiences has made you look half glass full, pessimistic versus optimistically blind mm-hmm. is to fundamentally surround yourself with optimistic people. You gotta cut out pessimistic and negativity and you gotta add on optimism and positivity. It's as simple as that. You guys should be looking around at each other and whoever else isn't here and like in order, who's the most optimist and not, don't, there's a real fine line between delusion and optimism. I'm gonna be in the league but they're not even practicing. (laughs) (laughs) So that's delusion. I'm gonna be in the league and maybe you don't see it, but you see them at least doing free throws 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. every morning before they go on the bus, you're like, at least he's trying. And, it's, and, and the more difficult your circumstances are, the more likely you're around pessimism. The, my number one piece of advice of leaving here is whoever the most optimistic person is here, become more friendly with them. Straight up. You taught me about patience. I know because it took a long time for you to get back to me, but I knew once you got back to me, it was so like, it was <laughs> unbelievable, bro. Like, this man finally got back to me. <laughs> this is unbelievable. But you just taught me like the game and everything you said. I didn't understand it right away. Like, I just needed some time to feel through. But once I watched more content, once I understood, I was like, yo, I got this. And that's how we got back here today. So I'm just grateful. I love you, man. That, that's one of my favorite clips ever. Just like watching your eye, we're right there, just your eyes. It's the best, man, it feels so good. It's so, it's so real, like that advice I gave you is real. My belief is that if you're a great drug dealer, you'd be a great businessman. I just believe that, because it's the same game. There's a lot of drug dealers that suck at it. <laughs> right? Look at my man Moose. He's breaking down these bags into nickels because he's making more money that way and he's chintzing, he's actually making $3 bags, but he realizes that everybody at the school doesn't know the fucking difference, doesn't care. He's smart, so if you're good at it, or if somebody's, <laughs> if, he's, if somebody's good at it, they'd be even better at flipping sneakers or gear or going to the thrift store and flipping because it's the same fucking move. And then when you have the freedom of being not scared to get caught, now you're fucking moving fast. Now you're a fucking entrepreneur and everybody thinks, you know, like people putting you on a pedestal. I love him, I love him. <laughs> Every year since 2016, we've done an excess of 2.5 million. It's gone up each year. But like, In top line revenue? Yes, I think. Sales? Yes. Cool. Um, yeah, that's the other thing too. It just like My questions are going to maybe seem a little bit basic. I don't care. Okay. I'm basic as fuck. Okay. Do you know how many Harvard Business School people have ever built a business doing 2.5 million? A lot less than you think. Okay. So, so, so I promise you, on. you're not basic. Okay. The amount of humans that have walked around that do 2.5 million in sales is low. Okay, thank you. I mean it, uh, and, and the second you understand that in the same way with him, my organ, like this is real. That's why I'm like pumped. This is why I love like how the world evolved. It's much more for like, that's real. Yeah, thank you. I mean, my husband's told me that, he's like, you don't, he's my partner, and he's like, you know, you don't get it. Like, and I was like, I feel like we could be doing more.
Well, yeah, that's for sure. But it's not predicated because you didn't go to business school or you don't know the term. I still don't know all the terms. I, I said in an email to Nick the other day, I was like, I have to Google like half the things that Gary says because I don't know what they mean. You ready for this? I think I Googled them first seven years ago. <laughs> like, like, like my mom and sister always laugh. They're like, where the fuck did your vocab come from? I'm like, S- osmosis. I love that. Yeah. You, you know? It's so yeah, so we're doing well on Amazon. Um, but like, I think to be completely transparent, like I stayed in that game because it's, it's comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. Like it works. Like, yeah. Honestly, it's working. Like, and so I've been. What's your What's your gut tell you? It's starting to not gonna work soon. Like, what's your gut tell you? Um, that you're I'm, leaving too much on the table. Yeah, my gut tells me that I'm avoiding actually like pushing myself and like doing something that I'm afraid to do because I'm sticking to like what has has proven to be ROI positive. Yes. Like, is comfortable. Yes. And so I'm just like staying in that like safe space of like well look like. Well, do you want to build something that does seven million? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Okay. Hundred percent. Okay. Our goal this year is to do ten, and I know that's aggressive. Like I get it. It's not aggressive. I, it's just arbitrary. Should I? I, I truly believe if I like put my mind into this, I can do our social media. I can learn it. I can get good at it. I can understand it. Like you I should definitely do that. Well, let me finish. Okay. okay. I'll ask, I think I'll ask better questions. Go ahead. Hiring someone, I think I'll care more. But is it like, hey, listen, that's ego. Like you need to drop that. No. And you need to delegate. No. Why do you say that? Because you need to know what the fuck you're talking about. It's your business. I've consistently stayed consistent on this, which is, if you don't know the craft. How are you judging the people you're hiring? You also said here though, in another one of your videos, you're like, hey, you need to have 100 people or something doing 80%, that's better than like, just you trying to do 100% by yourself. That's so you different. That. Sure, everything else you're doing, you should give away. Yeah, and I do. Good. I mean, well. I just contextualized it for you. But, okay, <laughs> perfect. How are you gonna find those seven hours a day to get great at social? You're doing something now, I assume. Uh, I'm not. I'm Why, because it's on autopilot? Um, so we have people like list, uh, not listing yet, people packaging. I got it. That receiving so packages. what are so you doing? Nothing. That's why I'm here. Well, like, good. They're gonna like pour myself into adding a thousand more products in the next like ninety days. Yep. Or I'm gonna do this. You should do this. Okay. Why do you think that? Because the products are not the variable of success. The knowledge of understanding how to communicate to the end consumer are. There's nothing more important than being close to the end consumer. Nothing else matters. There's another big thing that's gonna happen. You're gonna make a thousand way better products after you're done with this. Cause you're gonna be in the trenches yeah. and not in a fucking siloed ivory tower. Yeah. You're gonna have much better intuition on the product. We're not trying to be Walmart. We have a really awesome, high quality, high design products um, and our value proposition is just so much more. But how would you think about this issue? Which I is I think you always have to listen to your customers but your customers are always gonna say that listen and synthesize and make decisions, right? Like, that's why both listening to your customers to develop product is right, and also whoever said, if I listened to my customers, I would've made it faster, horse is right. They both can work. It's big data. People love to talk about big data. Big data is very cute. What you do with the data is what matters. You could stay the course and keep your brand affinity in the right place and win, you could lower your price and that was exactly right. It was a 10% swing that totally changed the course of your business. You could lower your price by 10%, nothing different happened and now you've just given up 10% margin and maybe even hurt a little brand equity. They've all worked. Listening and then the beauty of business. Business is talent. How many of those people have you called? Because I'll tell you what I'm good at and I don't know you too. It's one thing to read it. It's another thing to hear it. So maybe you, take a, a, you know, maybe you take 50 of those people and you actually call them. And you put in those 50 hours or those 25 hours on 50 people and then you say, okay, now I've heard it. They're full of shit about, right? <laughs> or I've heard it and fuck, there's some, I, I believe as leadership there's something there. That's it, there is no right. Yeah, yeah. It's contextual. Yeah. But you're listening which is huge. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video on YouTube. I wanted to jump in here at the end because I'm working on a ridiculously important project for me and I have a funny feeling you can help. If you drink wine at all or know anybody that drinks wine at all, please go to empathywines.com right now and sign up for a subscription. Whether it's a three pack, whether it's a six pack, or whether it's a whole case of each for the year, if you drink 36 bottles of wine a year or give away 36 bottles of wine a year, please sign up for Club Empathy. This project means the world to me I could really use your support.